Well, starting today, multiple new laws go under the books when it comes to gun ownership right here in Michigan. They include everything from red flag laws to safe storage. Let's get out to Rod Maloney. And Rod, you've been digging into this because there are some important things gun owners really need to know. Well, Karen, here's the first thing that gun, gun owners need to know, that if you're going to have a weapon like this and it's going to be unattended in your home and there's going to be a child around, it has to have one of these now on it. It's a gun lock or be in a safe. But there's also something else gun owners need to know, and that is if you're a prospective gun owner, you want to buy one, it's going to take a whole lot longer. Let's start with the gun storage issue. If you feel you need to have your gun readily available if, say, an intruder broke into your home, a safe like this one is probably the best answer. The ones with a lock and key run about 75 bucks. Uh. The electronic ones run about 200, says Action Impact gun shop owner Bill Cusick. I hope that this new law encourages a parent to secure their gun. I'm not optimistic. And the reason being, I think if you have to tell somebody to keep a loaded gun away from a child, I think you might be wasting your time. As for displaying your gun collection. So your traditional display cases for firearms, that's not going to serve as a gun safe. That, that's mentioned in the law too. So those guns are going to have to be inoperable in one fashion or another. All right, let's say if you're looking to buy a new gun and you don't have a concealed carry permit or you want a new long gun, the state added a new hurdle. You have to go to your local police department and have them run a background check on you and then they give you a license to buy. And here's where I think it gets a bit silly. You then come to a dealer like myself and we're going to run an even better background check adding time to your purchase. More than anything though, Cusick is frustrated with the state's lack of available information on implementation and enforcement. You know, there's gonna be a learning curve here for everybody. There's gonna be adjustment period for everybody, I think. Now, here's the thing. The, the Michigan State Police put out a detailed explanation of the so-called red flag law. Very complicated, but essentially it is that if you, you feel like somebody has a gun and is putting you in danger with some sort of mental health issue, that's an issue. And so we've got that linked on clickondetroit.com so you can learn more about that. Back to you. Rod, wondering, in the light of the James Crumbly case upcoming, what are we learning about the new storage laws in terms of penalties? Well, you know, that's the thing. When it comes to this issue with the gun lock, uh, if a child finds the weapon and it's not locked, that can be a misdemeanor. A prosecutor can charge the parent with a misdemeanor. But then if something happens, like somebody gets shot, that's a five-year felony. And if somebody dies, that could be a 15-year felony. Locking up those guns, so very, very important. All right, thank you, Rod. By the way, I want you to grab your phone real quick. You can snap this QR code. It's going to take you to an article breaking down all of the new laws that went into effect here in Michigan today, including the repeal of right to work, also the reinstatement of the prevailing wage law. We've got all the information on all of it. The link right there on the homepage.